Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new tutorial from Computer Tech 251. In this tutorial we will be covering how to build your own website for free and host it in your house. This, was, this tutorial will be started from scratch, so I'm assuming you have no idea about what I'm talking about or what I'm going to do. With that being said, we're going to learn everything from the beginning. We're not going to hide any ideas, sorry, any uh, steps. We're going to go through it step by step together. But before we get to that, or before we start building our server, we need to understand and agree on some terminologies. All right. So first things first, what is domain, what is a website, and what is a web server? What do we mean when we say domain or website or web server? Well, unfortunately, many, many people don't understand the difference between them. They don't understand what is a domain or what is a website or what is a web server. And what is the job of each one of them? Well, let me start off with, by explaining a domain. What is a domain? A domain is, domain is basically a... Okay, so the main is basically a name for your website. It is not a website. It has no content. It has nothing. It's a name. For example, right now, if I go to cmd, a command prompt, and I type, for example, I'll type pingoogle.com. All right. Excuse me, guys. So if you take a look right here, where is it? I don't see it, so let me see it one more time really quick. Is it one more time? Oh, okay, no, nah, never mind. Okay. Okay, this computer has been doing it wrong, so let's forget about it. Let's sort it back to his net. And let's look up. Let's look up, for example, let's say google.com. second let me let me try one more thing really quick uh, my computer is been doing using Mac which is wrong but that's fine that is not a big deal that's a problem right now okay let's go over it then Okay, you know what, guys? Just forget it. Let's just forget it. Let's just forget it. But what I'm trying to explain is every website or every computer has an IP address. So if you got the IP config and you hit enter, you will get the IP address of your computer. An IP address basically is what the what differentiates your computer from a different computer. So let's think about an IP address as a building. There are two different types of IP addresses. There is a public IP address and there is a private IP address. Um, let me explain that before I get into the main website and web server. A public IP address, let's think about as a building. Okay. Private IP address, let's think about. Let's think about it as apartments in the building. Cool. And there is also a more thing called a port. Port basically, let's think of it as a window of any apartment in this building. Does this make sense? I hope so. All right. So, what do I mean by that? Okay. So, if you want to ask about a specific apartment in a specific building, you would ask for the building first. You find the building, but then you would ask for the apartment. The way you ask for the apartment is each apartment has a different IP address, which means every apartment has a different way of of finding it an address for this apartment. That's what an IP address is. IP address is an ad address for your computer. So, um, let me see here. Okay, all right. So 
Nova in this sense was an IP address. Was a public IP address. We will get more into that stuff. Oh, and let's explain what is Ford. Ford is a window for every apartment. So if you want to go to apartment A or apartment 127.0.0.1, you can go through port 80, for example, or through window 80. Just an example. It may sound a little bit confusing, but it will be more clear once we work on it. All right, now let's explain what is a domain as well as a web server. A domain is basically just a way for us to memorize all those names, or sorry, all those addresses in a text format. So instead of saying, I want to go to apartment 192.168.0.1, you would say I want to go to google.com, just an example. So the name, just a name. How can you get a domain? Well, that's the only part that you have to pay money for in this video. You're not paying money for me. You have a lot of websites out there, such as GoDaddy, One and One, and they are fairly cheap, like a couple of dollars a year. So if you get this, for example, One and One and One dot com. For then you go to domain names and then you search here for whatever name you want. Dot com. You press on check, you'll find it right here, and then you could just continue with buying it. <coughs> okay, and then it's just a dollar a year. I know that for a fact because I have domains from this website. Oops, I just done it. So if I can continue. Okay. And then you don't want none of these stuff. So you don't want to buy a hosting. Okay. You just want to buy the name. There you go. It's one dollar a year. It's fairly cheap. And don't worry about these. Don't buy them. They say they are available, but say no thanks. Continue with that selection. And continue. Okay. So that's pretty much it. So yeah. A dollar for a year then you would be for fifty dollars a year. Um why do we have to pay for a domain name? Well the main name basically there is a data center that holds all the domain names. Can you build your own domain server? No you cannot. Okay, as long as my knowledge you cannot. You have to buy a domain name from a registrar. But other than that you're not gonna pay anything, not even a penny. Things you're gonna need. Uh, I'm sorry, website. What is a website? A website basically is coding. You're gonna code a website. Basically, you're gonna code the style of the website, the functionality of the website. Okay, that's what a website is. A website is not somewhere you actually visit. A website is a combination of domain and a web server, or a combination of files and a server. And, and a server, yeah. Or files in the server. That's pretty much how you. I don't know how you find it exactly, but you know, it's not. It's not something physical. It's not something that you could visit or anything. What is a web server? A web server is basically a computer, normal computer, that is so powerful, has sixteen gigabytes of memory, sixty-four, one twenty-eight gigabytes of memory, a hard drive, a crazy huge hard drive. It could be even small, so it doesn't matter and a high-speed internet. A web server is a server that becomes public. So right now, if you want to, let's say, for, for an example, if you want to hack your friend's computer, how would you want to hack it? You're going into the files on his computer. So a web server basically have files inside it that allow you to get them without hacking it. A simple term to explain it. I'm sorry, a simple way of explaining it. So basically, it's a um, computer that has files on it, and you go to get them. A website will be inside this web server. So when you type google.com slash something.html, you're going to put a file inside the web server. That's what a web server is. So now we got that out of the way. We understand the difference between domain web server and web server. If you don't understand, you could Google them, you could ask, and I will try to explain them more. Now we need to understand one more thing. Um, 
Oh, actually, we are. Uh, we want to know what other things we're going to need. We are going to need a list of things. Let's put them up. One. You can or can or don't have to actually, but you can have uh, an old old computer that you don't use. We're going to make it a server. You don't need to have it, but I'm just suggesting it. Okay? An old computer, you can make it a server. At least 4 gigabytes of hard drive and 2 gigabytes of RAM. This is not going to hold a lot of traffic, so it's just going to be for testing or for you to start or learn, learn about servers. Later on, you can buy a, a good server and work on it. Two, we're going to need an operating system. Operating system is right. We can use um, we can use Ubuntu, we can use CentOS or Windows Server. These are the most famous servers exist. On our tutorial, we are going to use Ubuntu. Ubuntu 6.3. CentOS is a great distribution and from Linux also, and CentOS 7 is even better. But I'm not going with CentOS just because I like Ubuntu. Why? You know, just so prepared. So I like to, I like Ubuntu more than CentOS. CentOS is, is it better? Yeah, yes and no. But yeah, CentOS is not is not a lot better than, than Ubuntu. It's just more used because it has cPanel, human module solutions. Um, are we going to use GUI? GUI stands for graphical user interface. No, we all are we going to be through command line, just such as command prompt, just like this. We are going to be using only the command lines and we're going to build our server based from that command line. Third, if you are not using an old computer, if and only if you need to use virtual box. Virtual box is basically a virtual machine inside your machine. That's the message. Oh, by the way, to download Ubuntu, you can go to ubuntu.org. And yeah, sorry. Ubuntu. Yeah, ubuntu.com, sorry, ubuntu.com. After you go to ubuntu.com, go to download. And on download, go to Ubuntu server. I'll include the, all the links on the description. Click on it. And I'll be using this one. Yep. Actually, now wait, wait, wait. I'm going to be using Ubuntu 12.04, but it's going to be exactly the same as 14.04. There is no big difference. The only problem is with this is this is uses 64 bit only. So if your machine is 32 bit, you cannot use it. Okay. So let's see all the version. Hold on. Okay. I have two different releases. You know what? If we go to Ubuntu, download, and then go down to click this releases and find Ubuntu 12.04. There you go. You could use this one. This is just like this. This is what I'm going to use. Click on it and then download. Not six, don't whatever you want. 64 fits you, download 64. Whatever fits you from here, download it. Okay, so let's see for the instance. All right, so for instance, this one PC, this is 32 bit desktop as a CD. You could download it. Uh, oh, so this is so this is just a desktop. You don't want a desktop, you want a server. So you could just download this one a server and install CD. Okay, so you click on it and start downloading. It's about 3.9 gigabytes. Oh, there you go, 670. Way less than CentOS. Cancel. If you don't want to go with Ubuntu, then go CentOS. Sentence, CentOS and Ubuntu will be exactly the same, all right? There will be no difference between them. The only difference will be very, very small difference, okay? But I prefer using Ubuntu. You can get CentOS 7, but it's going to work with our with our uh, tutorial, if you go to get CentOS now, and you scroll down to all the versions, then click here, and you download CentOS 6.6. 6. 
iPhoto 86 or 64 bit from Apple. It's up to you. I'll be using iPhoto 386, but I'm going for the home camera lens. Okay, that's one virtual box. You could get you go to vmware.org or dot com. I'm not sure vmware.com. Another one so VMware or virtual box. There you are. VM virtual box. Yeah, virtualbox.org. I thought it's a form of lockers. So you go to downloads and download your vendor host or whatever it is. Alright, download it and then install it normally. Yeah, you got that out of the way. Again, use VirtualBox on if you're not using an art computer. Of course, you're going to use QD. Okay. QD. It's, it's the source. I don't know. I think it's an open source. I got stuff free SSH. It's an SSH program that helps you connect your server um, remotely. You're going to use that a lot. So again, go to qd.org, go to, you can download QD right here, and scroll down to qd.exe, click on it, and download it. So it has been downloaded. Okay. Go to our desktop. Is that my desktop? Oh, sorry, when you, once you open it, it says QD. Right, we're going to use it for that. So, what else are we going to need? We are going to need Gim Gim V Word and Photoshop. So, five Gim Rover and six Photoshop. These are optional. Optional. Oh, you know what? Take out actually. Take out Photoshop. We don't need Photoshop. Well, yeah, we do. We do. We do. So this will be optional. I don't know if I get that straight right. Optional. All right. We don't have to use anything with any other photo editor or or text editor, but I prefer them. What else are we going to need? For now, that will be it. Anything else you need, I'll let you know later. But yeah, I think this video got too long for no reason. But yeah, this is just an intro. Um, tomorrow we are going to start installing our server and get it up running. So stay tuned and see you later. Thank you. By the way, don't forget, subscribe, like, and share. Have a wonderful day.